Hi guys, Sunday, March 6, 2022. Gas is high, coffee is high. I've got gas, I've got coffee, but today's video is painful. Welcome to Kiss Destroys My Wallet on the next episode of Needle and Groove. I'm gonna brew some shots for this. Kind of nice outside today. I should probably be get out in that, but I'm not yet. I'm inside. I'm roasting coffee and I'm recording a video for you guys. So hopefully you like this one. This one, this one really is painful. I, I can't say enough that this is a serious case of I don't know how I will financially recover from this. And with that said, I'm just going to start off with the basic, everybody has that one album that they have bought over and over and over again. And for this one, I had to break out the one that's been breaking my bank since I was 15 years old, as well as the jacket that I had when I was 15 years old. The sleeves have long rotted off. This thing is old. I'm 45 now, so this was made 30 years ago from a denim jacket and magic markers and t-shirts and patches and all kind of stuff put together and i'll show you the jacket once i get through this to kind of emphasize how fanatical i have been about this one record and if you stay through to the end of the video i might even toss in a really funny photo of this jacket when i was young before it lost its sleeves and started to rot off of me but let's get on with it the album that breaks the bank over and over again is that it? No, that's the CD. Is that it? Oh wait, there's more. Is that it? Oh my God. How many are here? I don't know. Is that No, that's not it either. This one? No. Or how about this ridiculous, dear God, how many times have I bought this? Um, I don't honestly want to know the answer to that question. I know that I've had at least 40 copies of this in the last 30 years. The album is 45 years old, just celebrated its 45th release anniversary, going on 46 years now, and it's the combination of all of them. And what I'm missing is multiple cassette tapes that have been stolen from me and other copies on vinyl that have been stolen from me. And even an eight track that was stolen from me during a home robbery 20 something years ago. So all in all, realistically, I have bought this album at least 30 or 40 times, if not more. We're gonna talk about everything I just pulled out. As for the jacket, let me show you what my 15 year old counterpart did way back in the day. This is 30 years ago when I did this, literally with a thread and needle and didn't know what I was doing, but somehow made it work. I cut up a t-shirt and put it on the back of my jacket. So this was on my back for years until the sleeves rotted it off. And it's just yet another way that I have spent money on this album. All right, here we go. Let's get in this. This is the CD of the remaster version. My original version is long gone. I don't know what happened to it. Uh, for this one, they've kind of reproduced some of the original artwork that was present on the slide out cover. There's some liner notes underneath the CD tray, and you can take a look for yourself. There's the image that was originally featured on the inner jacket cover 
back with the original vinyl release and that's where we're going next with the original vinyl this is either a first or second pressing i'm not sure which i don't really care it's an old version i own it i play it i listen to it this is usually the one that i will drop a needle on especially since the rest of these have not been opened until today that's the back of the sleeve the center label on the vinyl here and then we get into the Destroyer Resurrected stuff. And this was an earlier remaster of the Destroyer album. The back cover is not much different than the original release. But the front cover, you see the original art. And inside is a little booklet where they've replicated the original artwork that was released, not the resurrected version. And it actually opens up and has some information in there, something to read along with. It's the first time Destroyers really come with an insert other than the sleeve. And that's the back cover of the little booklet, just like the original sleeve and what they've done with the center label. And this is the standard black vinyl version. There's also an exclusive Walmart orange vinyl, which I also have and also did not open until today. This thing has been sitting on the shelf completely sealed until I cracked it open to do this video. It's beautiful orange and they've kind of replicated the original style of the center label on the vinyls. Here we get into where it starts getting ridiculous. This is the 45th anniversary 2LP color vinyl deluxe edition. And this one also just had the seal crack today. Inside is a gatefold cover. Really awesome picture of the band on motorcycles. Jeans cracking a really ridiculous smile. And there's the track listing. This one's got some demos and outtakes on sides three and four. And there's the track listing again on the back first one we're going to it's basically a reproduction of the original style of destroyer with the inner sleeve with the kiss army logo and shout it out loud featured prominent on one side but when you get into the vinyl it's a very 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 deep thick yellow and they've done some color modification to the center label to make it distinctive for this specific version I'm sure there are other yellow vinyl versions of Destroyer floating around out there. The second record is the demos and outtakes. Uh, one side is all Paul and Gene's demos. The second side is outtakes of stuff that didn't make the studio cut. The inner sleeves uh, showing ticket stubs. Nice little close-up shot of an uh, audio reel is what they used on the center label on these. And this one's a really, really bright red vinyl. And I just absolutely love the color they use with this. It's vibrant. There's a book in here as well, and this one is a paper booklet, similar to what came with the original Kiss Alive and Alive 2. And you'll see another version of this in just a moment. This one, very simple, got some information about the, the band and the history of the album. And here we go. This is the ridiculous over the top, and this is actually a CD. And we're going to go into a lot with this because there's a lot to see. And that's the back of the box. This box is about an inch and a half thick, and it is heavy. There's a lot in here. As soon as you open it, there's the book, a little ribbon to help remove it. And this one is hardback and much thicker, 68 pages, comparative to the small one that's in the vinyl. So this one's presented with a lot more detail in it, a lot more information. There's a whole lot here to read, a lot of pictures to look at. They did a great job with the book. It's printed in color. It's, there were no corners cut whatsoever on this, and I can't imagine how much producing this book cost. Right under that, you find a reproduction of the 1970s Kiss Army Fan Club booklet and newsletters and the folder, and this thing is just packed. There's reproductions of things that went out with the originals in the 70s available for the first time, and I do also have some of the actual original 1970s versions. There's photo prints in here on archival paper, really beautifully done. Bumper stickers, iron-ons. There's just an insane amount of content here. Uh, collector cards, oversized collector cards in the case of these four, they're huge. Much bigger than what you would get out of the original Tops style cards that it did. There's a uh, multi-exposure photos under the under the folder there's another little envelope and this one's embossed and it is not sealed so this was actually made for you to be able to open it and close it back up without damaging it there's the hype sticker that was on the front of this box when i first opened it a couple of weeks ago i did not wait to open this i wanted to see the contents 
Inside this envelope, you get a reproduction of the 1976 tour book. Full color, just like it was then. This is probably a much clearer version, to be honest, than the original. I'm sure the printing processes are better now than they were then. You've got uh, blueprints of the stage setup from the tour included with this. And this is something the fans normally just don't see. And underneath that, there's a newspaper. And the newspaper is specifically about this box set. Underneath all of that, you get into the actual discs. And the first disc, obviously, is the remastered version of Destroyer. It's a gatefold-style slide-out cover. The CDs are inside, and I'm not going to pull any of the discs out. I'm just going to kind of show you what the packaging looks like. The second one is the outtakes and demos. Again, gatefold. The third disc is a live concert in Paris, and this, this is just a phenomenal show. I've heard it before, but I've never heard it this clear. Inside, they've kind of included some of the information with the uh, images that would have been seen on tickets at that point in time. This disc is where it gets interesting, and I'm going to stop for a moment after I show you this packaging to tell you what this is. It just looks over the top ridiculous. There's a whole lot of color going on in this, and I can't even play it. So the last disc in that box is presented in a Dolby Atmos setup that I currently do not own any type of sound system that can play it. So I will not be hearing it. And that kind of disappoints me because I really want to hear it, but I just can't. I have no way to play that recording back without buying an entirely new sound system for listening. And I'm not willing to do that just yet. But, I will make an appeal to Mr. Gene Simmons and Mr. Paul Stanley. I'm 45 years old, but I will put myself up for adoption if you will put me in your wills. This box set was expensive and well worth every dime that I spent on it. I'm not grumbling, but my wallet is angry at me. And it's asking how many times I'm going to buy this one record. And it's telling me that I need to go get professional help for this addiction. I want to give a big shout out to Carousel Music of Gaffney, South Carolina for having that box set in stock. I spent uh, close to two months looking for it and trying to order it online. Every attempt failed, but they had it and I bought it. And it was very much an impulse purchase that I do not regret. As always, our videos are not monetized, so if you like them, please give the video a like and subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support more being shot, take a look at concafesc.com and kind of browse over the coffee options that we offer. Everything that we do is micro-batch roasted over wood fire, and it's not roasted until it's ordered, so it's a nice way to get very fresh, small-produced coffee not your grocery store mass-produced, high-volume garbage. We don't drink fertilizer. Thank you for watching. For those of you that were patient enough to wait until the end of the video, as promised, here's the old-school photo of the jacket.